Good evening YouTube. I come to you with a side project um, and some questions and I'll jump straight in. Up some questions. Um, it's about the MQTT wall controller project and how to couple an electrode to a steel faceplate. Now you might think you could just solder it on but um, if you've ever tried soldering, at least with this bog standard solder with flux in it, um, onto a steel faceplate or indeed onto anything such as a piece of uh, tin foil um, you just can't solder a, a flipping wire onto it, it just that doesn't work, it just doesn't take. Um, so if anyone's got any advice on that, I'll show you what it looks like by taking it right, I needed two hands for that, so I've just stopped the video. Um, anyway, this faceplate comes off to reveal, let's get this out of the way, that's my neutral density filter, which gives it a professional clean look. I was using blue before, now I've gone on to grey. Um, anyway, here's the electrode. The electrode, I, I say, is actually a piece of dodgy wire. Um, and when you touch it, the lights come on. Um, the problem with this is any thickness to that wire and it prevents um, this uh, faceplate from clipping down properly. This is very, very sensitive to any anything. So even these screws um, have to be countersunk into, you can't quite see, but they're countersunk in there. Um, so even this tiny bit of wire that pokes out there, can I get a focus on that? Not really. Even that tiny bit of wire with a bit of blob of solder on actually um, stands uh, in between this plastic faceplate and the metal top plate. Um, and that means it just doesn't clip on properly, so that's a problem. Um, I've tried loads of things, as I say, I've tried soldering the wire behind the faceplate. It comes through a little hole um, to a bit of tin foil, that didn't work. I've tried soldering it directly onto here, that was a complete joke. Um, and I have thought about getting some conductive, electrically conductive tape, um, but I just don't really know how to do it. So if anyone's got any really bright ideas about a nice professional way to do it, I, I even bought some spring clips from a company called Harwin, um, and they basically sit in that little rectangle um, and they spring up, but even they protrude too much. It really, I think a bit of foil would just about be okay because foil will crush down you know, as thin as you need to, maybe maybe that's too much, maybe just half that, but um, that would be a great idea, but I can't find a way of coupling the thing to the foil. Um, foil's a bit tacky though, um, so if anyone can think of a really good professional um, way that I can couple that to the faceplate that then sits against it, it has to have some springiness to it. Um, it this, this isn't particularly effective, because of course the metal faceplate lays down on it, and you've only got um, you know, very small surface area of coupling of that bit of wire to the to the faceplate. So, anyway, any bright ideas? I'd love to hear them in the comments. So, onto the side project. Basically, this is a PIR. Um, I think it's made for the Chinese market. Anyway, it's rated at 120 volts, and it's most definitely not, um, you know, CE rated. At least European safe. Uh, I definitely wouldn't plug this into my mains. Least of all because mains over here in the UK is 240 volts. Um, anyway. It doesn't make any difference, so I'm getting rid of this board and I'm making my own. Um, and on my own board I'm putting a low voltage PIR that will plug directly into the Arduino over a uh, up to I think 10 metres of alarm cable. This stuff is 8 core alarm cable, cheap, nasty, but it actually will do the job. Um, so low voltage is the way to go in my opinion when hacking these things. So I've got a, a PIR which I've taken the um, this this thing is actually the Fresnel lens that went on top of the PIR, which I've just taken that off. It unclips quite nicely. You can get these, say, from one pound fifty or something like that on eBay. I took that off because I'm going to be using this one built into there, and that is my PIR. And that's going to go in the middle of the board. This is all the wrong way around, but basically that's going to go that way around. And then I'm going to put this thing here, which is a BH fifty uh, seventeen fifty FVI which is a digital luck sensor, Let's see if I can get focus on there. You can see my lovely uh, flowery fingers, I've just made some dough. Um, that's uh, My fingernails aren't really that crusty in real life. Um, so yeah, that's the BH1750 FVI, it gives a, a readout of the digital, uh, uh, digital lux sensor, um, which is this teeny tiny little spider looking chip on the left hand side. Um, this is actually rated at 5 volts, this one. Um, not, that, that chip is 3.3 volts, but we've got some little linear regulators on here. You can see the teeny tiny regulators, um, which means I can use 5 volts um, 
which is what this PIR takes as well. So I'm going to bring a 5 volt supply to this. This is what the supply, uh, the board is going to look like. These are my um, two four pin connector blocks, these little green things here. Again, extremely cheap on eBay. Um, two of those, and I've got some two LEDs as well, a red and a green, um, from going from one, one of the ports. So when that port is low, it'll show red, and when it's high, it will show green or something, or blue, I don't really know what I'll put in there yet. Um, that's my PIR and that's my BH1750 FVI. Um, hopefully that will kind of lay, it's very difficult to describe, um, where are the pins? That will kind of lay on top of that so that I can get it as close to the window as possible. So there's two sensors for the price of one, but I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna also, I haven't done it yet, I'm gonna whack a temperature humidity sensor and whilst I'm at it, a um, atmospheric pressure sensor, BMP 150. They are also extremely cheap. So I'm gonna wang four sensors into this thing because why not? Um, so yeah, this housing is great, four pounds. I'm gonna get rid of the innards and use it as a four pound housing basically. Um, it used to have a silk screen word that said 2OD, T-U-O-D-I on it, which wasn't particularly nice. So I got rid of that with some um, white spirit or acetone and just rubbed it um, until it came off and it did come off. So that's that's all good. I marked this one up actually, but that's separate. Um, so yeah, that is my side project. Uh, I'll report back when I've made a bit of progress. This, by the way, goes... Oh, I'm not really good at doing this one-handed. This kind of goes on there, and my my connector blocks are going to be focused. Why my phone doesn't focus? There we go. My connector blocks are going to be down that side, much smaller than this because they're low voltage, and that just fits over there. Put wang your wires in there. Um, I, this will be unused with my new board, and then there'll be two little lights, some sensors, four sensors, no fewer than four. Actually, it's five, isn't it? We've got this one. We've got this one. I've got two in the temperature humidity sensor. One, two, three, four, plus the atmospheric pressure sensor. Yeah, that's five. That's great. Good value for money, I say. Cheerio.